So what can you expect to harvest four to five weeks after you plant your kitchen garden? I'm gonna show you what I'm harvesting and hopefully it'll give you hope for your harvest too. So let's start digging in, ready? I got my scissors, let's go. All right, it is uh, the first full week of May here in my kitchen garden. And uh, if you've missed previous tours of what's planted here, you can check them out on previous videos. So I gave a tour of everything that's planted here just about a week ago. And uh, now we're finally starting to harvest. So um, just for reference, I would say I'm probably at week five and a half in terms of a lot of the growth of these things in the garden. So. Number one, I could definitely harvest some chives right now. So maybe I'll just do that as we go through. Um, you can definitely harvest chives. That's probably one of the earliest things you can harvest in your kitchen garden. And uh, I just kind of cut it like a ponytail. Now what I am doing for most of my chives is letting them go to flower. I love um, making like chive blossom dressings and things like that. So after they all go to flower in about a week or so, I'll do a really hard cut of the chives. But right now you can definitely be harvesting chives. You can also be harvesting from your cabbages. So I've been making a cabbage salad every three or four days, not obviously cutting the whole head, but just cutting a few leaves off the external parts of the plant um, every few days. Now, I just did a harvest of my radishes. Um, so I haven't harvested all of them, but here is the beginning. So um, these radishes were planted by seed about 40 days ago, I would say. Some are more ready than others, um, but these are definitely something you can harvest within 45 days of planting. So radishes are also on the list. Now I don't wanna harvest them, but I could be harvesting pea shoots if that was something that I wanted to grab. Um, I want these to grow into peas, but you can see that there's a lot of growth here within 40, 30, 40 days. And uh, this is all edible. The entire pea plant is edible. So if you were just like starving and you needed some nutrition right away, you could cut and eat those pea shoots. Also kale. So these kale plants were planted at the same time of the cabbages and I've been harvesting from this kale all throughout um, probably for the last two to three weeks. So I'll show, show you my kale harvest on the next set of beds. Um, then also in this bed I can start harvesting herbs. So I have some parsley and uh, actually some celery planted. And you can see this curly parsley here. I just harvested some of this just the other day um, for a salad we had for dinner. So parsley can definitely be harvested. I have oregano and rosemary here in the beds, but I'm not gonna harvest from those just yet because um, they're not that big. So I'm gonna give them a little bit more space. So that's in the first two beds. Those are the things I'm already harvesting and enjoying. The cabbage leaves, the kale leaves, chives, I could have pea shoots, parsley, and radishes. So 40, 45 days after planting, that's what I can harvest from my first two beds. Now let's go to the next two beds. So if you um, saw previous videos, you know I had cabbages planted in these two beds, like here. And uh, I've decided to pull the cabbages from my garden. So if uh, you haven't seen that video yet, check it out. It's called Cutting Your Losses. Um, so the benefit of that is I got a ton of cabbage leaves. So I'm gonna attempt to see if I can make some kimchi um, and some sauerkraut with these, um, with these cabbage leaves. Maybe even like some lettuce wraps or something. But this, my friend, is what you can harvest 40 to 45 days. Now granted, these are not cabbage heads. I know, I know, I failed at that. But I definitely got a ton of cabbage leaves. So um, this is from about probably 10 plants of cabbage. Now I could start harvesting from these lettuces. These are baby lettuces. These are um, a, from a Rocky Top mix, but I do wanna let these keep growing a little bit longer. You guys helped me identify this as milkweed last time. So thanks so much, all of you guys who replied to the comments. And I think you're right. I think it is a wild milkweed. Um, so this lettuce I'm not going to harvest from just yet. I'm going to let it get a little bit bigger, but I could harvest from it if I wanted to. Um, also in this bed is kale that I've definitely been harvesting from. 
and let me show you my harvest. So um, just picked from a bunch of plants, probably about 20 plants, and I got this much kale. And I've been getting, I don't, I don't uh, harvest this much kale every day, but I've been getting, I probably pick about 10 leaves a day. And I've been doing that for at least two or three weeks now. I make myself a green smoothie from the garden every morning, at least that's my goal. And uh, I've been doing it for like two or three weeks. So kale, definitely cutting from these, um, from these two beds. And my favorite cool season plant of all, I know some of you guys hate it, is cilantro. So I have six plants of cilantro, you can see it here. And you can see how I've been cutting from it. So I've been using cilantro with my cabbage salad. It has just the right flavor with it. And you can see I've been cutting them pretty, pretty seriously. So you can definitely be cutting cilantro. These were planted by plants about 40 days ago as well. And you can see, man, I am loving this cilantro. So I'm gonna hope I can get tons of harvest. All right, so that's in the first four beds, cabbages, kales, radishes, chives, parsley, cilantro, um, all the good stuff. So let's go to the final two beds. So these two beds, um, are usually my least productive, but they are looking fantastic right now. Um, so I have these red or purple mustards. I could definitely harvest from these right now. I have not, but I'll do some just, just for you. So you can harvest those external leaves just like this. Aren't they beautiful? I think purple, purple plants are like, it's like out of this world, don't you think? You're just like, really? How did you do that? Um, so it definitely can be harvesting a lot of purple mustards. And then I have, I kind of went crazy and just scattered seeds all through this bed. And so um, I've already harvested this um, mesclun mix. So this is arugula, mizuna, purple mustards, much smaller purple mustards. It's got some tatsoi in here, oops. And um, tons, you can see like tons of green goodness. So in these beds, I also have kale kale yeah um, so I've been harvesting from those kale plants too and uh, there are some herbs in here like rosemary but again I haven't harvested from them yet and I have pea shoots against the trellis as well so let's wrap it up let me show you everything I've got so I've got my mescaline mix here my purple mustard which I just harvested on the fly then I have my kale all this kale then I have my French breakfast radishes. And finally, I have my, not cabbage heads, but cabbage leaves. So this, my friend, is all you can harvest. Um, I've got 90 square feet here. And as you can see, there's still, the beds still look completely packed. So this isn't everything I can harvest, but this is a lot that you can harvest from a small space in um, 45 days from planting. Pretty awesome, don't you think? Um, I guess I'm going to be eating a lot of salad. What do you think? <laughs> or I'm going to make my kids eat a lot of salad. Or we're all going to eat salad. So um, if you're ever wondering, you know, is this worth it? Can I actually get mini harvest from my garden in a short period of time? I hope this encourages you that there's tons of things you can harvest in a very short period of time from your garden. And you don't have to wait till August to do it. I'm in Chicago area and this is the first week of May. And I've already pulled all this stuff all this awesome, delicious stuff from my garden. And you can too. If you wanna to learn how to um, set up your own kitchen garden, I have an entire course dedicated to showing you the step-by-step -step process. It's called Kitchen Garden Academy, and you can find out more about it right below this video. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in your awesome harvest next time. Bye.